It's Bonnie. Happy Tuesday. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is a topsy-turvy day, you guys, because I always start my day with a Bath and Body Works video, and I had good plans to do that because I come home this morning and there's a Bath and Body Works box on my porch, but it was tiny. Like, what did I order that was that tiny? Check it out. There were three soaps in the box. Three. That's it. I'm like, what the heck? Very weird. I was like, I don't even know what the heck was going on. It's half my soap order. Not even half. Like, a third of my soap order. And then supposedly my big order is out for delivery. So once the big order comes, which is the butterfly perfume, all the new stuff, I'm going to do a Bath and Body Works haul. In the meantime, I want to do another Victoria's Secret video because I got another collection from them. So check it out. Look at this collection. I actually want to rank um, this collection because... I like this one. I really do. Oops, I got them out of order. <laughs> Why did I get them out of order? They're out of order. Now they, oops, there we go. <laughs> I had them out of order. So this is a brand new collection for Victoria's Secret. I talked about the heat collection the other day, and now I want to talk about this new summer collection. So in the number four spot, we have Palm Lagoon. This one is Mango Palm and Electric Coconut. Um, this one felt a little bit ordinary. Um, it's not a bad scent. I like the green. I feel like um, it looks a little bit planty from the bottle. And it smells a little bit planty. Um, it smells a little bit more like a, a rough coconut. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't know. There's just something like planty. And um, beachy, like driftwood. Um, I'm not sure I like this one. That is not my favorite. In the number three spot is the Vanilla Tropic. This one is bronzed vanilla and bright lotus. By the way, I love the packaging on these. They're really pretty for summer. I actually like this one, but I like the other two better. Um, this is like a bronzy vanilla, if that makes sense. Kind of an odd combination. By the way, look at the back of these, how pretty they are. I like the way they did the holographic look on the back. Check it out. Isn't that nice? I love that. It's hard, it's funny, it's hard to read um, from this angle, but then when I put it up to the camera, you can read it really well. It's really kind of a strange um, graphic look. Number two is the Plumeria Beach. Check it out. This is the um, Rainbow Plumeria and um, the Chromatic Rose. I didn't expect to like this one as much as I did, but I like it. There's just something about it, and you know me, I don't always love the florals, but this is a little bit more of like a beachy floral. There's something really appealing about this that I didn't expect to like. Um, it doesn't really smell like rose petals. It smells a little bit to me, um, like the Bath and Body Works You're the One. It's got like a You're the One vibe, but it's also got a little bit of the plumeria in it. So I do like it. Um, it's a nice like sweetness on the dry down. So that is my number two. And then my number one in this collection, check it out, is the Pineapple Cove. I love the pink. Really pretty. And then check it out on the back. This one is pink pineapple and neon papaya. Now we all know that Bath and Body Works has got the pink pineapple sunrise this year. I was doing a little comparison. They're similar, you guys. They are really, really similar, but it's not a repackage from like company to company. Sometimes like Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works, you're like, that's kind of similar. <laughs> These are not um, the same scent. There is a definite papaya scent in this one um, that you don't get with the Pink Pineapple Sunrise. To me, Pink Pineapple Sunrise is a lot more sweet. It's got a sugary note, and um, it's very, very, it's very summery. I love it. Pink Pineapple Sunrise is actually one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works from the spring. This one has a very distinct papaya note. Um, and remember Bath & Body Works has done papaya scents before. Remember they did that, like, it was like an ocean-y collection. What was that called? Island papaya? I can't remember what it was. 
but I like the pineapple, the pink pineapple, and the papaya. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like a really, really good fruity scent from Victoria's Secret. The lasting power on these is not super good, however. I feel like the heat collection lasts a little bit longer. Um, these are really nice if you want to reapply often, which, I mean, you know, there's... Sometimes I'll wear a scent in the morning and then I get sick of it and then I'll put another scent on like later in the day so I don't mind that it wears off. But I usually keep like a nice selection of Summer Victoria's Secret scents on my dresser because um, they do smell so good. Again, the packaging is beautiful. I absolutely love the packaging. And let me turn these around because they did a good job in the back. Check that out. I really love the holographic um and the uh, the scent notes. So I think it's a good collection from uh, Victoria's Secret. I'm, I'm not upset with this one at all. I'm glad I got it. I will use it all summer. So anyway, um, let me know what you think of this one. And let me know if you're liking the uh, Pineapple Apple Cove. Pineapple, pineapple Apple Cove. Did I just say Pineapple Apple Cove? <laughs> pineapple Cove. There's no apple in there, you guys. It's just, I was going to edit that out. I'm not editing it out. Pineapple Cove. I'm tongue twisted today. Anyway, thank you as always for watching. And I will be back a little bit later, I hope, with a huge Bath and Body Works haul. I'm so excited to have the butterfly um, hand soap now. So anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.